Hello everybody and welcome back to the Warnick Family Farm. If you are new here, my name's Edward and thanks for stopping in. There's plenty of room for you. I want to take a look at a little gadget that I've owned for a few years now and been really happy with its results and it's a thermal camera. Um, and what it really helps with, um, whether you're in a construction or remodel or any part of a house process, is really give you kind of a look behind the wall a little bit to see what's going on and uh, really can help you uh, spot things that you, you might have missed, right? So it's going to show us like temperature deviations uh, from wall, one wall area to another uh, on the thermal camera. And the one that I got, um, I looked around a few years ago and there's probably better ones out there now. Well, I would assume there's better ones for a reasonable cost uh, entry is I've got the uh, Seek, Seek Thermo um, compact pro and I'm just going to show it to you right now so you can take a look at what it looks like so this is the camera here is this seek thermal um, compact pro just like I said um, this model has a uh, iPhone lightning plug on to it so it plugs right into a iPad or iPhone I just have a iPhone 12 I think that is um, that I can plug it right into the back to and uh, when I do that, it uses this special uh, thermal imaging sensor and displays it on the phone. And then I can record uh, video and or take pictures and see what, see what I'm, um, see the world through a uh, uh, thermal camera or infrared kind of type of, of vision. Um, it's got a 320 by 240 resolution. Uh, so it's not the most clear picture in the world. It's not like you're taking a phone from your or a camera shot from your iPhone. Uh, you got to remember that, but if you keep that in mind, it is not bad. Um, I honestly don't quite remember what I paid for mine right now. These are going for about $300 on Amazon. You can find them on eBay and other places. Um, and I, I think it's fine to get them used. The only thing you do have to worry about is there is a special coating on this glass um, of the lens that gives it that infrared kind of capability. And if there is a scratch or something's wrong with that lens, that camera, or somebody used some kind of cleaner on it, it could be toast and useless. So if you're buying it used, make sure to ask for kind of a zoomed in picture. Uh, not only is it working, it plugs into the app, but make sure that that lens is in good condition. So if you have all that, I think you're good. So the next question is, is well, what is it, you know, what is it going to look like? What does the thermal camera look like? What is it going to show me? Um, what we'll do is I'm going to record video and actually we can we can hook it up to the phone so you can see it but I'll do some screen recording on the phone to uh, and then insert it into this video so you can see that so we have a front window right here we should be able to see some good differentiators in here um, I do want you all to remember that we did complete spray foam in this farmhouse so every wall cavity has spray foam in it um, I don't expect to see much deviation in temperatures. We'll probably end up seeing um, the studs. We only have two by four studs, so there'll be some thermal bridging from the outside in. Uh, but around this window, you'll probably see some temperature differentiation. So let's go ahead and we'll set this down here. A quick look, see here. Here it is, seat thermal camera hooked up to my iPhone. In this mode I chose, the darker is cooler and the lighter is warmer. So I can see in this window, I'm getting like 90 degrees right here, 80 here, uh, 87 in the pane, but when I go below, on the wall it's 85, 84, and then of course, the concrete slab is much cooler. There's some wood sitting there on the phone, so it gives you an idea of kind of what the resolution and imaging looks like. You know, like I've said before, it, it it's not the clearest thing, but it does give you an idea, and I'll kind of pan around, it does give you an idea of what that looks like. Because I'm going through the rest of the wall studs and the garage, you can see where we have wood. And then in the center, we have, um, uh, we, we have the insulation. Here is the door from the garage to the house. It is open. The slab in the house is much cooler. We have about 70 degrees in that slab. And here's the wall. And then we have over still over here. These are the electrical panels. And pretty cool the way that looks there. So we gotta grab the camera and kind of pan around and show that to you. Okay, so um, we started kind of at these windows over here, and then I was just panning the camera around and around 
we got to that door there, right? And then there's that cubby and there's the electrical panels there. So that, I think that kind of gives you a pretty good look at um, what the thermal imaging is. Um, I've gone around this house and I've been really happy. Um, we went through quite a bit getting this house uh, sealed up. I also used the arrow barrier system. Um, I've got another video about that, that kind of, um, uh, they put a blower door, if you will, on here and then spray atomized caulk throughout the entire house and it really pulls down that envelope. So I wasn't expecting to see any bad leaks and kind of went through this house and didn't really see uh, any issues with the air penetration. So, um, you know, we are able to test that with the arrow barrier, the blower door. We did a great job with spray foam, uh, house wrap, etc. And then the thermal imaging camera really gives us the ability to kind of uh, make you know make that sure right because if we were seeing major temperature deltas um, between the outside and the inside uh, that would show up on the walls and you know so like let's say there was uh, air that was flowing through well it's warmer air outside it's about mid 80s and the inside it's um, well it, the, the slab is like 70 right so it's quite cooler so any in, air infiltration coming in through here is easily seen now I will say when there's extreme temperature differentiators, so let's say it was the middle of winter, it was 30 something degrees outside, you're heating the house to mid seventies, it's much more obvious uh, than when there's a smaller variant, but this camera is able to pick up those uh, small variances between, between that quite easily. So you're still able to tell with it. Um, I wish the resolution was a little bit better. Uh, I will say that. So uh, the 320 by 240 sensor size and imaging, uh, sometimes I, I feel like I can't just get it to really focus with any detail. At the price point entry for $300 for a you know 320 by 240 um, thermal image camera, proper thermal image camera, it's an awesome price point. And so I, I would recommend it at that. You know, if you're doing things like on an industrial type application where much more precision, more details is going to, you know, buy you the reliability of a multi-million dollar piece of equipment, I'd say go with that FLIR product. Um, just wanted to kind of show that to you all. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free, leave it in the comments. I will uh, try to answer as best I can. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by the Warnick Family Farm today, and we will see you next time.